the foundation mansion, Danzo's living room. I'll do it. The only one who heard Itachi's words were Danzo. He stood up from the chair behind his desk and approached Itachi with heavy steps. I felt certain you would say that, he said. The hand he put on Itachi's shoulder was ridiculously cold. Don't worry about your brother. Even after you disappear, the village will take care of him. Itachi was going to slaughter his clan, even if it were a mission. It was the sort that could never be made public. To the outside world, Itachi would be a criminal who had gone mad and murdered his entire clan. Naturally, he would not be able to stay in the village. At that point, he had no choice but to believe even the words of a man like Danzo. The day will be the day before the planned date of the coup. How does that sound? Itachi had correctly understood his intentions. The mission this time was a surprise strike. A sneak attack to wipe out a clan that suspected nothing. The night before the coup. The members of the clan would refrain from going out in order to build up their courage and make their preparations. It was easy to see what they would do. Additionally, their thoughts would be full of the next day's action, so it shouldn't even occur to them that they would be ambushed. Understood. I'll tell Hiruzen you're desperately trying to reconcile them with the village. Itachi had made his decision and he had no intention of continuing this chat with Danzo. He had some ideas about his brother too. Everything was after this mission was over. He would take on the crime of murder in his clan for the sake of peace in the village. He despaired at himself for not being able to come up with any other way. This whole time, he had been thinking about how he would ever be able to apologize to Shisui after his friend had entrusted him with the future. A decision born of failure. That was the truth. Nothingness. No matter how he dug around in his heart, no emotions appeared. Whatever he saw, whatever he heard, his heart was dead. What will I do about Uchiha Kagen? The person from the clan who Gozu and Mezu played. Oh, Danzo opened his mouth, looking as though he had just remembered them. One of them will have to die. If you see Kagen, go ahead and kill him. Are you sure? The ninjas of the Foundation do not fear even death for the sake of their missions. Gozu and Mezu would both gladly die. Do not hesitate. If anyone other than you is missing from the Uchiha clan, their actions will have been for naught. At that time, I won't be able to guarantee your brother's life. Danzo added threateningly. He apparently had serious doubts about Itachi's determination. 
the almost pathetic suspicions of a man who did not know the word trust understood good itachi turned his back to danzo and started walking when he put his hand on the door he heard a voice from behind best if we do not meet again before your mission is complete this is the last time i will speak with you as a ninja of konoha gakyo you have worked hard for the village up to now i thank you Ignoring Danzo's uncharacteristic words, Itachi slipped through the doorway and closed the door behind him. I will be in Konoha Gakyo Ninja until I die, he murmured to himself in the hallway, gloomy even at midday.